Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca Grace and I'm a Squarespace expert and website designer. Today we're going to be talking about pricing tables and how to create a pricing table in Squarespace 7.1. So here is the Suffolk template that um, talks about a inn or room, a place to book rooms, and they have a rooms and rates page that talks about the different rooms they have and the prices. And as you can see, it is a fairly basic, simple page. Um, so to spruce this up a bit, we're going to be using a pricing table to restyle this page a little bit. To do this, we're going to be using a stacked image block with the image being the title of the room or price or package that you're going to be having on your site. I'm gonna use two resources to do this. I'm gonna be using Canva and a website called Converting Colors. So Canva is free. You can get a pro version, but we're going to be using Canva to create a design that is 800 by 200 uh, pixels. And we're going to be using the colors that are designed on this page just to ensure consistency. So I'm going to go to the design tab on my Squarespace site, go to colors, to figure out what this green color is so that I can use that on my pricing table. If you know the hex code of the colors on your site, that's great, you can use those. If you don't, and you click on here, you can copy this code. Now Canva uses hexadecimal codes, Squarespace likes to use these HSL, sometimes HSLA codes. Um, so you're just gonna copy that, and that's where this converting colors website comes in handy. So you're just gonna paste the code in the top, and click convert and it will tell you what that color is in a variety of different formats. So in this case the hex code for this is right here. I'm going to copy that and use that inside of Canva. So to create this image I'm just going to click on the background and set the background color to the hexadecimal code that I found. I'm then going to add some text And the room type that they have is just called the standard room. I'm going to make that bigger. So it takes up as much of the space as I can and centered it. And I think I might do a white. Let's try a white and see how that looks. Once you have the design, you wanna be as consistent across these as possible. So I'm going to save this image as a JPEG. Make sure I have it saved in a place I can find it. And then I'm just gonna go through and recreate all of the other rooms. Once you have them all created, we're going to go back to our Squarespace page. We're going to click to edit. And where you want the first row to be, you're going to add a stacked image block. Upload the first image. I'm going to do as the standard room. Make sure the design is stacked. If you would like a button where they can purchase or book, then you're going to put a button here. We can label it, you know, book this room, for instance, or maybe just book and put a link of where you would like that to take them, whether it's your booking page or a contact page. And feel free to add an animation if you would like. 
in the title, I'm going to add the price. And the subtitle, I'm going to add the description of the room that they have here. I'm going to set the price as a heading three, so it's nice and big. Good. And then I'm just going to repeat that process for the other rooms. Once you've got that all done, you can look at playing with the layout. Now, I'm going to place them all side by side in one row. I wouldn't do that with more than three or four. Four might even be a little bit squishy depending on what information is in here. If, if you have more than that, I would just add another um, row of them versus them all being in the same row. So what I'm going to do is make this section large, delete out these spacer blocks, and just drag the images beside each other. Now it can be quite difficult to make them all the same height using code um, without setting a pixel as the height, which isn't responsive to different screen sizes, which could make them kind of overlap and some funky stuff happening. So sometimes the easiest way is the least techy way. And so what I'm gonna do is actually just add some spaces in here to make them all be the same um, height or the buttons be the same height there. Okay, once you're happy with the layout, you can click done and save. And again, it might not be the same height on all um, screen sizes and things like that, but um, sometimes just adding that spacer is the best. You can set, again, a height with a pixel but I think you're gonna run into more problems than if you just use some spaces. Now we can use the actual design tab of this to set some of the styles. So I'm gonna go into design, image blocks, scroll down to image block stacked, and we can add some spacing in here. Um, so I'm going to add some separation between the image and the title. 10 is probably good. And then same with the button. I'm going to actually set the same amount of spacing between the text and the button. And you can center line, left line, right align, and all of that. If you want to change the button itself, um, it will change the button site wide, but under design, you can go into buttons and change whether you want these to be uh, square or maybe you want them to be circular. You have a pill shape like that. Actually, going to just decrease this padding a little bit as well. And, save. and then there is some CSS we can add to make this look even more like a table. So I'm going to go to custom CSS and copy and paste the code listed below this video. Now the first thing you'll need to edit is the collection ID. So to make sure that this is only applying to the stacked image blocks on this page, you're going to find the collection ID. The easiest way to do that is with the Squarespace Collection Block Identifier Chrome extension. And then you can just copy this and paste it in here. Or you can right click, select inspect, and then you can search the code to find the collection and block IDs. And what this has done is it has added an outline. I've used the hexadecimal code for this green as the outline, but you can change this to whichever color best works for you. I've also added a bit of a shadow, which I think brings a little depth. If you don't like that, you can delete all of this code out and not have the shadow in at all. But I do think it just gives it a little bit of that kind of 3D effect. And then I've also added in some padding here I might actually just make this even a little bit um, smaller um, so that my uh, tables don't go quite as uh, shrunken here. Um, so this will be the padding and spacing on the outsides of this just to give a little bit more um, spacing between 
the outline and the content on the inside. So let's take a look at this full screen. And again, I can edit this to make them all the same um, with spaces or the actual information inside. I'm, it's best if you try and make all the information inside be the same so that the height kind of lines up a little bit better there. So now I have taken that sort of just text pricing page and turned it into a pricing table. You could even add some sort of hover effects and things like that on there just to even give it a little bit more um, or make it a little bit more dynamic as you go through. But that is how you add a pricing table in Squarespace 7.1.